Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here, and holy crow, I gotta get to class. Just kidding. I'm nearly 80, and now I'm too old to learn. My synapses have begun to fire pneumomatically. We're looking at the student schedule view. It's gonna be useful if you wanna get an easy breakdown of when and where your various courses meet. If you're a student logged into Populi, enrolled in at least one course in a term, you'll be able to see your schedule for the term. Also, your school's staff or faculty will need to have entered meeting times on courses, otherwise we don't have meeting times to show. It just makes sense. I also wanna mention for any staff watching that if you generally have access to a student tab on a student profile, you'll be able to see a specific student schedule this way. Students, you'll click on My Profile, then into the Student tab, and then into Schedule. You have this academic term dropdown. It'll default to the current term if you're enrolled in the current term, but you can select any other term listed there as well. Under Schedule Format, you have three options. Planner, Block, Details. Each option focuses on slightly different information. The planner gives you low detail about courses, but shows you the hour by hour layout of your course schedule for a given week. For each relevant day of the week, you can see each course's meetings on the hour grid, showing gaps between meetings, duration of a course meeting, etc. But you'll notice that we have no detail here about the building or room in which the course meets. Don't worry, the next section does. Block arranges the meetings by day in sequence and includes much more detail about the course. Faculty name, building room, number of credits in the course, all that. Looking at this meeting for this course, we have the course name, faculty name, meeting time, building, the room in that building, and so on. And you can see the next meeting time for that course over here, same information. But that's not always the case. This Shakespeare course meeting on Tuesday is in the lecture hall, and the one on Thursday is in the same building, but in a room. Details. This one breaks down the schedule by course, so everything that's regularly scheduled in a given week for each course. Sometimes staff or faculty will note the type of meeting that's convening. So we have the lecture meetings versus discussion meetings, stuff like that. Okay, now just a couple things. This doesn't necessarily tell you everything that's going on in a course for a specific week. Courses might have special events scheduled on the course calendar. Those don't show up here. This is the regular course schedule. It's also good to know that this schedule doesn't tell you the frequency of these events. If we look at this Saturday meeting, this is actually set up to meet every two weeks but you would have to go to the course and then onto the course calendar to see that. Two more quick things. If you need to know what's happening with your class meetings in the next week, you can go to home, dashboard, and you can see all the upcoming events right there. Also, if you've managed to double book yourself for course meetings, these two meetings on Monday are what you'd see on the planner. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.